In this video, we will use Gauss's law to find the electric field strength in a distance r from the origin of a sphere. And this sphere has a constant charge density of rho. So the goal, find the electric field strength in the distance r from the origin. If we, we look at the left side of Gauss's law, we see that it's a vector problem. However, the vector E in the spherical problem points directly or radially outwards. And the vector A is a vector that is perpendicular to the surface. So if you look at this surface, this shell, then the A vector points radially outward as well. So these two vectors are parallel. So the vector problem of integrating a vector with respect to a vector. When they are parallel, we can just consider the scalar problem of integrating E with respect to A of a small element of a surface. So this surface integral, if we consider that E, the electric field strength, the entire surface of this blue shell is constant, then we can bring it outside the integral side and integrating 1 with respect to A just gives us the area of what we're integrating over. So we are integrating over this shell, this blue shell. We are left with the electric field strength and the area of this shell. The area of this blue shell is the shell and the radius 4 pi then radius squared multiplied with E. And now we consider the right hand side of Gauss's law. We need to take 1 over epsilon and multiply with the total charge enclosed. So if we look at this blue shell, the shell here, we need to consider how much charge is enclosed, how much charge is captured by the shell. And this charge can be rewritten as the charge density and then the volume enclosed. And the volume of this sphere, the blue marked sphere, is 4 over 3 pi and then radius cubed. Now we consider that we can simplify this expression. Because the 4 and the pi cancel. And if we divide by this distant squared, then we are left with the expression that the electric field strength in the distance r from the origin is 1 over 3 epsilon, then the distance and the charge density. And that's one expression for the electric field strength. If we want to rewrite this in terms of the distance but, and then not the charge density, but rather the total charge of the sphere, we just use this information and substitute the rho is equal to the total charge divided by the total volume of the sphere. So the electric field strength is 1 over 3 epsilon and then the distance and now we need to take the total charge and divide with 4 over 3 is the same as dividing by 4 and multiplying by 3 but we still need a pi and the radius of the sphere cubed. And now we see that the threes cancel. And if we rearrange these constants, we can write it in terms of 1 over 4 pi epsilon. And then the distance to the center, the total charge the radius of the sphere cubed. Now we recognize this part as the Coulomb constant. So the electric field strength in a distance r is 
given by this expression with the charge density and the distance or this expression Coulomb's constant times the distance and then the total charge of the sphere divided by the radius of the sphere cubed and that is what we wanted to find <laughs>